All right, welcome back into our Sportsnet studios. Great to have you along. John Shannon, Neil Smith, David Amber. We're going to do a little five-hole. You guys now, ready? Do you think that's fair on a night that the Leafs allowed nine? You're going to do a five-hole story? Well, hey, uh, I think it's very <laughs> fair. You guys got to do some work here. I've been, I've been car carrying the load so far, so I'm going to put you guys on the spot here. You didn't like that. All right. Uh, our first question in the five-hole segment, John. Uh, how many 50-goal scores are we going to see this year? Six. All right, you're going to you make me pull it out of you? Who no, are they? Come on. No, that, you just asked me how many. I said six. Actually, just look at the guys in double digits now, and you'll get six. That, that's it? It's it. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> Neil, how many do you yeah, think we have? For me, there's only going to be two. Okay. Stevie Stamkos and Corey Perry. That's it. So that's, those are two of your six as well. All right, yeah, it'll absolutely. be interesting. Uh, a few guys on pace for that right now. All right, Neil, let's uh, roll along. Which team currently not in a playoff spot do you fully expect to see in the postseason in April? The Minnesota Wild, and I'm going to tell you why. Because the Minnesota Wild, first of all, their row is nine, and you know what that means, right? Regulation or overtime wins. They have, they're a plus 11 in goals for and against. And if you look at plus and minus in goals for and against, usually you can see who's going to make the playoffs. And also, they're great at home, 7-1-0, and the Minnesota that Wild. It's a lot, a lot like analytics, Neil. Well, I'm, I'm, like an, I'm that kind of modern day guy. <laughs> you like the Wild? Well, John, who do you like then? Well, you know what? It ha I, I really do believe that Neil's close. Okay. Because it has to come from the West, because the West has become so competitive. And I think it's going to be Patrick Waz, Colorado wow. Avalanche. Really? I, th I think they're going to reinvent themselves one more time. Simeon Varlamov, once he gets healthy, he'll be okay. We're going to see a lot more from guys like Nathan McKinnon and Gabriel Landis Cog. I think that they're going to prove. Maybe not that the 106 points last year was a fluke, but I do think they're a much better team than they've indicated so far. They're going to have to climb over four teams. Just six wins in their first 19 games. By the remember, way, remember he said this. Remember the playoffs. If you're four points out by U.S. Thanksgiving, you don't have much of a chance no. to make it. Statistics will show you that. All right, a third question in five-hole, John. We said bye-bye to the dry scrape. What rule in the NHL would you like to see amended? Get rid. No, amended. Oh. I want it eliminated. Okay. Get rid of the trapezoid. Forget this stupid little thing in the corner. Let the goalies go there. Let them play the puck. They have talent. Let them move the puck up the ice. I have a goalie that can move the puck up the ice. <laughs> Neil, you, what about you? I love the passion. Let's get, <laughs> get rid of putting the puck over the glass. You get an automatic penalty. Let the referee do his job. He makes a decision. Did the guy do it on purpose? Was it a delay a game or not? But I'm so sick of seeing a guy accidentally put the puck over the glass in a critical part of the game and put his team I down. I love that penalty. I love yeah, that penalty. But I isn't love that, that the idea of the rule? It's to make sure there's no gray area and you're not trying to read a guy's mind? Right, that's why they wear black and white. The, these guys are the best guys in the world. Let them make the decision. All right, well, he makes a good point there. All right. Uh, Dominic Kashuk into the Hall of Fame. Neil, of these four goalies, Quick, Price, Lundquist, Luongo, who has the best shot of entering the Hall when he's done his the, career? The boy from Connecticut, Jonathan Quick, no doubt about it, has the best chance of getting in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Two Stanley Cups with the L.A. Kings, a Conn Smythe Trophy. Without this guy, there would be no Stanley Cup in Hollywood, but this guy has been tremendous. The other guys that you mentioned, yes, uh, uh, there's no other Stanley Cups here with Lundquist and Price. No so on. Yeah. You, you, you know what? As much as it pains me, because I think Luongo, Price, Lundquist. and Lundquist will get to the Hall of Fame, as much as it pains me, Neil's right. <laughs> I wasn't sure where you're going with there that. There we go. So, okay, so I'm done. Quick's, let me just follow up there. If, pains if, me. If Quick's career ends tomorrow by a horrible a well, knee injury, he's in the hall. I mean, he's done. Listen, he's got the Conn Smythe. He's got two Stanley Cups. He's in tomorrow just based on his sure what he's done so far. I, I think that might be a little premature. I think that, you know, you, there is a little bit of longevity. He's still, you know, mid-20s. He's not a 35-year-old uh, yeah, goaltender. There, there, but there's... You know what, if, if he does five more years, David, if he does five more years, he's in his, it's a very good resume. Our fifth question in five. All right, quarter way through the season, who's the front runner for the Hart Trophy as MVP? John. Well, uh, he's not going to win it because there aren't enough votes the way the PHWA does it right now, but he's going to win two trophies in my mind, and that's Mark Giordano of the Calgary Flames. Wow. Wow. Neil. Steven Stamkos. I'm going way out on a limb now. Well, no, but I, I tell you, Sidney Crosby's the obvious one. If you want to be safe, pick Sidney Crosby. But Stevie Stamkos and his Tampa Bay Lightning are really headed for great things. All right, guys, thanks for playing along for five holes. Some interesting stuff. We'll play this back in uh, April, see how you guys did. No, All don't right. do that. <laughs>